The Live Nation Country Music Festival is still more than a year away, but it's now full speed ahead on the planning since a state judge approved the three-day event featuring country music stars on a stage outside the track with 20,000 fans and camping on site. This was the right, the right direction and uh, we're very, very pleased and now we're excited to put on a great new event for fans all over the Northeast. Some neighbors argued a 1989 agreement doesn't allow standalone concerts, but the judge ruled that agreement only applies to the grandstands and racetrack, not property purchased later, and that zoning supports a concert. We thought we had an agreement with the track. That agreement was honored for almost 30 years, and now uh, the current ownership of the track has decided to no longer honor that commitment. Judy Elliott is concerned this paves the way for similar events. Everybody in the neighborhood is going to be really hurt by those concerts. And I, I hear that it's just, you know, very loud and very disruptive late at night. The town of Loudoun approved one concert for 2019, but with the Speedway losing one of its NASCAR Cup Series races this year, the general manager says diversifying is a goal. That's what we plan to do at New Hampshire Motor Speedway and use the land um, and for, for cool, unique events that we haven't even, haven't even dreamed of yet. And the neighbors who sued say they are now considering their next step. The Speedway says the concert will be on the calendar sometime after the July 2019 race here. Live in Loudoun tonight, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.